You can see where the catalytic converter was cut from underneath this truck in Manchester. A total of 16 vehicles were hit at this U-Haul site. One man was here Saturday morning as crews continued to discover the missing pieces. Weekends are typically busy at this Manchester U-Haul lot. People using their day off to move and needing the equipment to do it. But Saturday morning, they hit a road bump. They had to literally take keys to every vehicle and try the next one and try the next one. 16 vehicles had their catalytic converters stolen overnight. Police say six cargo vans, four pickup trucks, and six box trucks had the parts stolen. This is what it's supposed to look like, but this is what many now look like. Chris Chaffin went Saturday morning to get a trailer attachment. The manager kind of shook his head. Uh, a voice came over and says, well, we got a big problem. The walkie-talkie opened up again. And they're like, we've got a much bigger problem. We're told it all happened within an hour and a half. Police are looking for three suspects captured on surveillance footage. When I was driving around, I was thinking about the impact. You know, somebody who uh, has been planning a move, you rent a uh, vehicle uh, to do that move well ahead of time. Catalytic converter thefts have been happening across the state, including Manchester. A man was arrested in August for his involvement in multiple thefts over a five-month span in the town. Another arrest was made in March for catalytic converters stolen from Lynch Toyota two different times in a month. Chaffin says it's unfortunate this continues to happen. It's too bad, you know, that some, some metals and so forth become so valuable that it, it, it's worth getting a team of people together to go steal that stuff. That's a shame. While he wasn't impacted by Saturday's theft, it looked to him that many others were. Yeah, there were definitely people this morning standing around in the parking lot just kind of waiting. I spoke with some people dropping off their trucks who were surprised to hear what happened. They say they didn't notice any notable disruption Saturday morning as they were picking up those trucks. U-Haul brought in other vehicles from other sites to help accommodate. Anyone with information is asked to reach out to Manchester Police. In Manchester, Tony Black, Fox 61 News.